Peace and blessings, you ugly mofos, and welcome to another episode of He Rants. I am your host, Felix Law and Trousers. Man, check this out, man. If this is your first time on He Rants, I'm going to let you know I'm just a random guy who likes to talk about random stuff that interests me, and I just feel like I need to inform you guys about it. If that sounds sexy or attractive to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as with the post notifications. That way, you'll always be one of the first people to hear the voice. And at the same time, Leave a like, because I'm so damn insecure, and those likes definitely let me know I'm doing a stand-up job. Same time, you gotta buy the merch. Mofo, men offering females orgasms, because we're so humble. Link in the description box below, but let's not waste some more time, man. We got a, we got a, we got another reaction video, right? We got this by the channel by the name of Raven, which is crazy to think that she was able to get the name Raven. You would think that somebody already has that, but she got it, though. And everything right the reason why i'm watching this video right and this is the first time i'm watching it uh it's because i saw mtr the guy mtr made a video uh reacting to it a few months ago uh two or three months ago i'm not sure and um i was just like holy crap i might want to react to this in the future so i was like let me just let me just put this to the side so i can definitely watch it right and now the time has come the time has come so i can actually watch it and get my own views on it right because just just starting off the rip just looking at them right i'm just like man just being that this video is called i cheated on my husband's savage they look very young right huh. she looks like she's trying out uh to be one of the uh one of the m&ms you know like the green m&m you know the green m&m has like high heels is the female m&m she looks like she's trying out for that and he looks like he plays for the houston oilers uh practice squad i know people's like oh houston oilers don't exist anymore does it freak <laughs> i'm really interested to see how this turns out man because it's I try to tell people, man, women cheat just as much as guys. It's just, they're just better at it. Or at least maybe guys are just too hard-headed and they just feel like they're just a guy, so they don't care. But let's let's not waste more time. Hey guys, so I am here with my husband and we are creating this video specifically because... Off the rip, head ass. I just felt just head ass energy. It's a whole lot of head ass energy right here. I made a TikTok and I created a video uh, disclosing information about our relationship, um, about when I cheated on my husband at the beginning of our marriage. We are now on year seven, but that video. Are y'all seeing the glee in her face when she's saying this about that TikTok about her cheating on her husband? Did, did you see the glee? That was a lot of, she might as, she might as well be a spokesperson for the show Glee. She was so, oh yeah, you know in the video I made a TikTok about me cheating on my husband and stuff like, right? Oh yeah, we're seven years strong. Oh my God. Oh my God, is that guy castrated? Did they remove his nuts? I, I'll be, it couldn't be me. Got over a hundred thousand views, thousands of likes and tons of nasty mean comments yeah, this video is not for like an explanation as to why or what to justify none of that we're not trying to um prove our relationship to anybody because it quite frankly it's none of your business this video is specifically for those of you who have been asking how in the world did you guys do it how in the world can i do it and is there really healing after cheating no but we are here today to tell you that yes there is healing after any form of trauma if you choose i'm sorry this is giving me Derek jackson vibes but she's Derek jackson she's derica jackson and this guy instead of wearing that little hat that she's wearing he's wearing these dreads these um are those these just look like a, a dirty mop they look like don't Come on, now. you know it looks like it looked like it was like a regular mop, right? But then they dipped into some mud, and then the, the, the mud at the top decided to, you know, it was like started turning black into tar, and then the mud at the bottom is still wet, so it's still brown. But eventually, it'll it'll then transform into the rest of the black tar, um, of the rest of the hair and stuff, right? But um, she she she's giving me strong thought vibes. Um, how how you ask? Oh, off the strength that she's she's happy to talk about, you know, cheating on her uh, husband and also talking about um oh you want to see how we you know we got through it and everything you know this life after cheating and it's none of your business how's it it's none of our business but you out here trying to make a video explaining i i, I know what y'all saying y'all saying oh well she's explaining like how they made it through but it's like hey that should be none of our business either right i mean 
Let's just keep it consistent. You know what I'm saying? And you guys might think I'm nitpicking, but hey, she has two braids coming off the side right here. If that doesn't scream thought, I don't know what does. Let's continue. To work it out willingly and you both are ready to commit to the tasks that are at hand. With a lot of the people that left her private messages as well as comments that are either going through the same thing, uh, whether you're on the side of being cheated on or being the side of the person. A whole bunch of people getting cheated on. A whole bunch of people getting cheated on. No, no, no. They, they, they were the cheaters. Those are the ones messaging her. Cheaters, they, they, they go together. This is like a street coalition. She's a she's a street ambassador. This one right here. She's a street. She's a no remorse. There's no remorse. There's no real remorse here. He didn't want to make this video. She forced him to make this video. This, she's Derricka Jackson. She's Derricka Jackson. Eminem. She's just, the Eminem Derricka Jackson. She just give me strong Eminem vibes. Really, really strong. I, 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 man, if it comes out, oh yeah, she, I, I wouldn't be surprised. If she just pulled a zipper like this and went whoop, and then she just revealed herself when she was a gigantic green M and M and stuff. She got the heels and the glasses and everything. And then Fred is like, I knew it, I knew it. You know, Fred from Scooby Doo's going, like, I knew, I knew, I knew she was M and M. I knew it from the bed, from the beginning and everything. I mean, it's. made that mistake um, we really want to give you guys some insight and some help on how we broke through those plateaus and, and really made it to a higher point within our marriage where it seemed like okay we don't really know where to go from here we just knew that we wanted to fight through it together um, which is step one uh, realizing is the person that you're with worth fighting for um, you really have to ask yourself that and for me um, what really helped I always remember back to the times leading up to our marriage and the day of our marriage. Simp. When I stood at the altar before her and before God, I knew who I was standing across from. Um, so, you know, I had to humble myself and look at it in the sense of recognizing this not a character flaw, not her as a person. It was a lapse of judgment that happened that could have happened to me as well. In any situation, it doesn't matter. Cheating is not okay whatsoever. That was subtle, but I think I gained a little bit more respect for this guy. He said it could have happened to him. He cheated. Oh, he definitely cheated. Yeah, yeah. Being that he's a he plays on the Houston Oilers practice squad, he definitely get hoes that just want the clout just off the strength that he's a, a football player. Granted, on the practice squad, so he he needs an injury up top in order for him to get some real playing time and. It, and also that the Houston Oilers don't no longer exist, but it doesn't matter to these hoes, right? To the hoes, they still see it as he plays football and everything, right? He definitely was cheating. That's the only way I feel like he could take her back. And also, um, I gotta say something about her cornrows. She got like this, I don't know why, it's like this cornrows, like this, was there a patch here, but then she continued to cornroll through the patch? That's definitely a patch. That's not a part, that's, a, that's too strong of a part to be a regular part, that's a, that's a patch down there. And then she definitely, these M&Ms, man, I'm telling you, they're getting sloppy. There's no justifying cheating at all whatsoever. I think both parties need to figure out why, what's causing you to want to be vulnerable to somebody else. There's something missing Dick. that you're not getting from one another Dick. that somebody else is able to fulfill at that time, which is why which is it's important for you both to go over what this is Dick. that's in the midst of you. For us, it was uh, family issues. And At the Dick. time we were living apart from each other, um, immediately after we got married. And um, and for me, it was insecurity of not feeling fully accepted into his family. None of those things are justifications at all. But there are certain doors that open and can lead to Dick. situations that, or temptations that, you know, you necessarily don't need to walk through. I know a lot of people want to know how did you forgive, like what steps did you take to forgive me and how did you know that I wasn't cheating on you anymore? So the first step that I had to take in, you know, forgiving my wife was, like I said, uh, humility. Humbling myself to say, okay, can I look at it in a realistic aspect of now that I understand what made her feel a certain type of way, 
would I have, um, is there a possibility I could have fell into the same thing? And I mean, as a human being, you know, that the answer is, is easy. Yes, I mean, it, it took a, a point of vulnerability and somebody being there and you feeling like, okay, something is not being fulfilled by the other person. So I had to first realize that that was my first thing in recognizing, okay, I have to understand where she's coming from. Um, secondly, was remembering who I married and understanding the person. It's like, what, 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 are we, what are we doing here, son? What, what, what are we doing here? This, this, this guy's. It's like I, I said, I liked him at first, but now I'm just like the simp. The simpness is like, bro, bro. I'm not even. I'm not even sure she's not. She stopped cheating, bro. I'm not even sure. At that point that she cheated on you, bro, like she's gonna, son, she's gonna keep cheating on you, bro, because she saw you took her, you took her back. And I haven't seen this girl's body, but man, this girl's booty better be ridiculous, like just astronomical, right? If you if you're taking her back, and people will be like, oh, maybe her personality and stuff. But like, listen, we're not gonna play this game, right? She said she was in a vulnerable spot. That's there's a lot of granted they didn't go into full detail, but there's a lot of things that must have happened before they, you know, before she cheated, right? She probably talked to the guy right off the rip, or maybe she got him on Tinder. If she got him on Tinder, that's even worse. So you had her on the app. Like it's just so many factors. You you went to the dude's house, or she went, and he went to he came to the crib. Y'all smashed or something like, like what happened? What led on to it? Was it a one time thing? How are you so sure that it was a one time thing? She can't be trusted. She can't be trusted. Um, and it, as sad as it is, man, this is what I be saying. I be trying to tell people all the time that women cheat just as much as men. They're just better at it. They're a lot better at it. And I'm I'm, I'm curious to find out if he found out about it from her admitting it or was it that he um he was just you know he picked up some cues and everything and realized that she was cheating right and you see the reason why i say this is kind of like Derek jackson because they're blaming it basically on the devil just like Derek jackson blamed it on the devil like blame it on the devil you know strength through god and everything right and, and you know i'm a christian so i believe in all that but i just i i just can't this 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 it hurts my it hurts my soul because she's definitely a street warrior she's definitely a street warrior um man hopefully he took her keys away man because if he took her keys away you know maybe it might stop her from getting on the streets right but little does he know she probably got a bike in the garage you know what i'm saying she might got a bike in the garage right it depends how badly she wants to get back on the street she can definitely ride that bike going up and down you know what i'm saying she doesn't have to have you know she use her arms trafficking signals and everything like that she just she, she ride around on the streets she doesn't need a car she doesn't need a car if, if, if push comes to sub you know she put on some running shoes you can run on the streets right all right she can do that uh this guy man this is this is a sad man to see this is embarrassing this is really embarrassing. I don't know a lot of people are gonna say like, you know, you live and you forgive and everything, but how far, how far are we gonna go? How far are we gonna go, man? Because when girls cheat, I feel like it hurts a lot more. Dudes, most of the time, but they cheat, it's just, it's just off of physical. They don't really care about that girl. They're just trying to get the nut off. Majority of the time, you know, no, nothing's absolute, but let's continue. The person that I knew that she was, uh, because certain situations and things that we're going through kind of put us in a different place at that time, but it's not us, you know, 24 seven. It's not our natural, um, natural way of going about our day to day life. It's just during that time when you're going through tough stuff, you're not always going to be yourself. Also, I had to, I had to understand that I'm going to have questions that I need to ask. I need to know the truth and understand that I'm being told the full truth. And once I get that truth, I need to be able to put that on the back burner and say, okay, look, now that I know everything, how, how are we gonna move forward? I'm not, I can't hold this against you. I can't continue to bring this up when we have an argument. I have to move on as well. Um, and give yeah. her a chance to show progress versus thinking it's gonna happen overnight just because you told me about it Tuesday and it's Thursday and I feel like I'm still harboring. And I think as the cheater on this side speaking, um, you kind of have to do. Listen, ho. Listen, listen. 
I don't want you smiling for the rest of this video. You better keep a straight face this whole video, son. That makes that's the cheater on my say with the smile, with the grin. You know you lost the right to smile. You supposed to look how see how cuz look right here? He look like he the one who cheated. That's you supposed to look at like that the whole video. This is you. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. Right? She, she, you you think that he's a cheater? Like like he look like he down and but like ah, I can't believe we making this video. Like I'm just, she probably wanted to make the video to clear her name, to make herself look good. I mean, or, or maybe you know he might be a, a super simp with a cape and everything, right? So maybe he was just like, listen, I'm tired of them making fun of you and stuff. Let's make the video so everybody knows that you know I still love you, I still care for you. Maybe possibility possibility granted though let me stop being harsh man this is love man when it comes to marriage man you can't just divorce each other um but man this hurts this hurts the soul and and i you know what i make a lot of jokes but big ups to him for forgiving her and they moving past this right but huh, i don't know how many kids they got i definitely see a kid's head right here but if i was him i'll start getting some dna tests that's for damn sure i'll definitely get some dna tests right because because that, that kid better be uh Half half Eminem, half uh Houston Oilers practice squad player. If I see if, if it don't have no Houston Oilers practice squad player in that baby's genetics, and I see something else like a like a, a refrigerator maker or something like that, or or, or 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 a meat butcher. She looked like she she looked like she messed with a meat butcher. Whole time I wouldn't be surprised if Willy Wonka uh, was in that joint. Sign off the strength that she's an Eminem, she'd probably see Willy Wonka and gets a. Uh, what happens to M M M's get wet? What, what happens? They get, they get, they get hard. No, they get wet. Do they melt? Does the, does the chocolate inside of her melt and it causes lubrication as an M M&M M or something? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But let's continue. Everything that is necessary for you to show your partner that you are no longer in that life anymore, and you are no longer going to make that decision anymore. If it stems from a job or. Uh, the people you're surrounded with, that would be to. Did they just teleport? Am I tripping? Yeah, I'm probably tripping. It's, I swear they just teleported. All right. Change your surroundings and change the people that you're surrounded with. Um, also, allowing your spouse or significant other to feel the way that they do, um, not in a way that is necessarily condemning you, but. Um, just allowing them to also go through the process that they're going through as well. I know I went through, at the same time he was going through, um, I went through a point where I didn't forgive myself. It was really hard for us to even connect, yeah. um, especially sexually. Like, yeah. It was hard um, to, you know, get back into that. Yeah. All right, you guys. We the question, the question is, did you suck his dick? All right. Or did you suck the dicks? Because we're, we're assuming this is one person. She might have cheated multiple different, different dudes, man. I'm telling you, son. She might just... Mm, I'm telling you, man. You better you better make sure he takes the keys. Takes the keys so she won't... And, and then make sure she ain't got no bikes. Right? Make sure she ain't got... Take her shoes, too, if she wants to walk the streets. Take the shoes. I mean, she might be savage, though. She might be like, F it, I'm going barefoot. Oh, I got... Oh, she might got some slippers in the back or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, but this is this is this is some scary stuff. They seem very young though. They seem very young, especially her. At least her voice sounds like very young. But this is scary. This is scary. The world, the world has changed. We just wanted to say thank you uh, for watching this video. If you are fighting for your relationship and you have watched this video, please feel free to reach out to us and let us know that you saw this. It's just feedback for us to continue on making videos. We love you guys so much and. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you guys. Bye. And they started playing that little beautiful music. I'm not gonna lie. Whoever that was singing in the end, that was that was nice. That was a nice touch. I like it. Let me not be an a-hole, man. Listen, like I said before, man, it's it's good that they're trying to work through their marriage and everything, right? And and I'll give big ups to the guy, even though I feel like he's a simp. I still give him big props because once you get married, um, it's for better or for worse, right? So let's give him that, right? But. I just didn't like the way I just did something about that woman's face, man. She was a pretty, she's a pretty girl. She's a pretty woman, right? She's, she's pretty. Uh, it's just that the smiling, I just didn't like the smiling, right? I guess it's supposed to be a happy video, right? But the whole thing is this. We'll say this again. 
Men are usually looked at as the bad guys, right? Granted, this guy could have cheated too. This guy could have been crazy out there cheating. Hence, he might have been. That might have been the reason why he decided to take her back, just off the strength of like, listen, if you only knew how much I cheated, dude, <laughs> your little one guy right here ain't nothing, right? Ain't nothing. He might have been a savage dude. Who knows, man? I'll tell you, Houston, Houston Oilers. Um, he's, you know, he probably get some love. Definitely get some homes. You know, look at Warren Moon. Warren Moon. Warren Moon was out there getting hoes, man. Believe it or not, Warren Moon, that was one of the best black quarterbacks to ever play. Houston Oilers, right? Um, but uh, it's, just, it's just sad to see it, man. It's sad to see that, you know, what's going on here, right? But at the same time, I'm happy that this video was made to allow people to know that, you know, women out here do be cheating, right? Instead of the narrative always being that men are the older ones out here cheating and then men are the ones making mistakes, men are dogs, men are terrible, right? And you see how she she used um, she used the reason why she was cheating is because something she wasn't close to the family. This is just excuses. This is just excuses. She's lacking accountability for herself, man. At the end of the day, you cheated because you wanted to cheat. You saw a guy. You probably saw him as attractive, and then you know one thing led to another, and then you decided to ride the cock carousel, right? You decided to ride the cock carousel, man. That's what it is. You wanted to ride his glizzy. Uh, God, God, so help me if she if she licked it, if she licked the glizzy. That's uh, I don't know. I don't know if we can get back from that, man. You tell me you sucked. It. You sucked his dick. You, you you sucked his dick. Did he finish? And then if he did finish, where did he finish? Did he finished on your lower back, on your toes, on your stomach, on your face, in your mouth. Where did he finish? Uh, was it raw? Was he wearing a condom? Now you ask yourself this, if he was wearing a condom, did he take the condom off and then finish somewhere on your on your body? That's even worse. That means you really got time to think about it. You took the you you, you got you you dismounted, took the condom off, and then you sprayed it. I can't take you back after that. You're a floozy. A dirty floozy. You don't deserve love. At least not for me. Hey, listen, man, it's just, it's just excuses at the end of the day, man. Um, hopefully, they live a great, prosperous, uh, the rest of their marriage stays long and prosperous, man. Seven years, that's a long time, man. A lot of people don't make it that long, man. And hopefully, they'll last longer, man. It's good that they got through this, but so help me God. <laughs> it couldn't be me. But that's all I got to talk, man. If you stay this long, man, I appreciate you. I love you, man. Make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as with the post notification. That way, you'll always be one of the first people to hear the voice of long trousers. Same time, leave a like. Because I'm so damn insecure. Those likes definitely let me know I'm doing a stand-up job. Same time, you got to buy the merch. Mofo. Been offering females orgasms because we're so humble. Link in the description box below. That's all I got to say. Peace and blessings, you ugly mofos. And I'm out. Uh, 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 uh.